Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys a few very useful tips and tricks that will help you improve your iPhone's speed, performance, storage, battery life as well as the network performance. So all these tips will help you get a better experience on your iPhone of course on the daily use improving all these important parts of your iPhone and the daily use of your iPhone. So speed, performance, storage, battery life and network performance. So let's get started. Here are my tips and tricks on how to improve all these things on your iPhone. Let's start off with speed. So, you know, with iOS 13, Apple has introduced this new feature called screen time. Now, basically what this does, it just monitors your device and the daily use that you do on your iPhone. So basically, everything every task that is working on your iphone will take cpu power that way it might slow down the performance of your iphone so your iphone will get a bit slower because the cpu has to handle other processes in the background so what you want to do if you don't use this now i actually have it on right now but i don't even use it I don't care about it. I don't even take a look at it at all. So what you want to do is just go ahead, go to settings, go to screen time and make sure you turn it off. And if you have a device, especially an older device like an iPhone 5S or a 6S or an iPhone 7, what you want to do to increase the speed of your device is go to settings, go to accessibility and then go to motion right here and make sure you enable reduce motion. What that will do is just go ahead and reduce all those like fancy animations that you get on iOS, but that way it will also improve the speed of your iPhone. Another thing you can do under accessibility to improve speed is go ahead and go to display and text size and enable reduce transparency. Now this will reduce all the transparency looks that you get on your iOS device, but that way it will also make it run faster. Another thing you should do regularly is clear Safari data. So go to settings, go to the Safari section and right here you will find clear history and website data and make sure you clear them regularly so Safari will run a lot faster. And of course, it's always good to reboot your device as well as clear the RAM memory of your device. Now what you have to do on devices with a notch, just press the volume up, volume down button and then press the side button and once you see the power down menu here what you need to do is just go to the assisted touch menu so make sure you enable the assisted touch menu and tap and hold the home button it will take you right back to the home screen of your device and that way will clear the ram memory of your iphone Moving on to performance. Now, when using your iPhone, of course, you want everything to run smooth, be faster, load faster and all that. But there are a lot of things that we actually do wrong on our iPhones that prevent that from happening. And one of them is always closing the apps from the app switcher. Now, this has also been confirmed by Apple. Closing apps here won't have battery life or everything that people think that they will save battery life from closing apps from the app switcher, it will actually make it worse. Now, if you leave your apps open here, especially the apps that you use regularly during the day on your iPhone, that will be much, much better because those apps are already in the background ready to go. Once you tap on the app, it will immediately load and your iPhone won't have to run that from the beginning, so the app will be ready there. So make sure you never close the apps from the background, especially the apps that you use regularly on your device. If you have like apps that you use like once a week, you can of course go ahead and close them. Of course, one of the things that will decrease the performance of your iPhone is location services as well. So go to settings, go to locate privacy and then go to location services and make sure you turn it off if you don't need it. So from time to time, you probably don't need location services to be on. Make sure you keep it off or even just go ahead and turn it off for the apps that you don't need to have location services on. So if you leave it on every time you load an app, it will be like just searching for your location and that will of course decrease the performance of your iPhone and make things not run as smooth. So make sure you go ahead, you completely turn it off or you just turn it off for the apps that you don't need it to be on. And one thing that's very important is of course background app refresh. So go to settings, go to general, go to background app refresh and make sure you choose 
which apps you want to have refreshing in the background and which not. Of course, there are apps that you might need to have refreshing in the background, but there are of course a ton of them you don't care about, you just have them on your device, so make sure you leave background app refresh off for the apps that you don't need it to have it on. Another very important thing is automatic downloads. So if you go to your settings, you go to iTunes and App Store, you will find here automatic downloads. And right here, you will see a list of music, apps, books, and audiobooks, as well as app updates. Now, if you leave these on, basically your device will automatically download updates, download music and all that without even asking you. But you might be doing something else on your device and you need that power or you might be on your cellular data and you don't want that to happen so make sure you go ahead and turn all these off and you can just turn that, them on when you need them or just go ahead and manually perform all these tasks. And of course to get a better performance on your iPhone is always better to have more space on your device so make sure you delete stuff that you don't need to have on your iphone and have more free space on your iphone it's always better for your iphone to have more free storage and now let's move on to the things that will help you five tips that will help you improve the storage of your iphone now the first one of them is found under the camera settings so go to the camera settings and you will find here formats and always choose high efficiency now what this does is that it will take pictures which are smaller in size that way it will save a ton of space on your iphone of course most of the space on the iphones always are just cluttered with photos and videos so make sure you choose high efficiency and when you go back here when you go to record videos you have here 4k now 4k will take a ton of space on your device but as you probably know your iphone isn't able to play 4k videos so if you're shooting videos just to see them play them on your iphone and you don't have like a 4k tv or 4k screen make sure you choose 1080p because if you just choose 4k it won't look any better on your iphone because the display of the iphone cannot display 4k videos Another very important setting that can be found under iTunes and App Store that will save a ton of space on your device is upload unused apps. Now what this will do, it will automatically delete apps that you're not using for a long time, but you will have still the data of those apps saved. So if you just need that app, you go ahead and download it back to your device and you will still have the data there. Everything will be there. So make sure you have upload unused apps turned on. And of course you want to clear the history of safari and other browsers as well like if you use fox or google chrome make sure you go ahead and always clear the history and the website data because they tend to basically just get a lot of space on your device of course with a new feature that allows us to download stuff from safari you probably have a lot of stuff to download and maybe you just leave some of them there on the files app and you forgot to delete them so make sure you go to your iphone go to general go to iphone storage and right here we'll see everything that is taking up space on your device and then if you go lower here we'll see a section that says on my iphone if you go here it will show you all the documents that you have saved locally on your iphone and you can go ahead and delete them directly from here so any files that you have downloaded directly on the storage of your iphone and you don't need them you can go ahead and clear them from here and another thing that will save a ton of space is deleting podcasts that you might have downloaded on your device now sometimes you might just forgot this on automatic and it will always download the episodes to your device locally taking a ton of space on your device so make sure you go to your podcast app you go to the library go to episodes right here and you can see if you have like that error right there that means that it's not downloaded but if you see that one of them is downloaded on your device you can go ahead and delete them and of course we'll save a ton of space next up let's move on to the battery life so of course everyone wants to have a better battery life on their iphone and with ios 13 one of the best things that you can do to get better battery life if you have a device with an OLED display, that means an iPhone 10, 10s, or the iPhone 11 Pro, then the best thing you can do is use dark mode as much as possible. So with dark mode, you can see all the stuff that is black on the screen is actually the device has the screen turned off on those spots so the oled display works that way all the black spots here 
are parts of the device's display that are turned off, that way it will save quite a lot of battery. Another thing that I suggest you do that a lot of people don't is use always auto brightness. So go to settings, go to accessibility, go to display and text size and make sure you have auto brightness on. Now I see a lot of people use brightness manually, they turn it up or down but always turn it on on auto brightness because that way the, the device will just adjust the brightness based on the needs and won't let the device get too bright that way consume a lot of battery. And with iOS 13, Apple has added a new feature under accessibility, it's called voice control and it's pretty cool, it allows you to perform a lot of things using only your voice on your device, but if you don't use it, make sure you have it off because it will always be running in the background, basically listening for your command to start performing different tasks on your device so what you want to do is turn it off of course if you don't need it another thing that of course takes up a lot of battery life are notifications if you have a ton of apps and all of them are sending you notifications then the battery life of your device will be really really bad so what i suggest you do you go notifications and you just manage every app that you have and basically set the notifications for every app like if you don't need Let's say for the iTunes store, you don't need notifications, just go ahead and turn that off. You don't need any random notifications that will only consume the battery from your iPhone. And another very important thing is found under battery, battery health and it's optimized battery charging. Now this won't save the battery life on the daily use of your device, but on the long run, it will basically just increase the lifespan of the battery of your iPhone. So make sure you always leave it on. Now let's move on to network and one of them is a new feature that has been added to iOS 13 called low data mode. So if you go to your settings, you go to cellular, you will find low data mode here. Make sure you leave it on so if you have a poor cellular coverage, this will basically make the apps consume less data. That way it will run the network faster. So things will load faster because the apps will consume less data and that way it will also preserve a lot of data for your device. You will have the same for the Wi-Fi as well. If you go to any of your Wi-Fi networks, you can also enable low data mode. Another thing you should always check is the apps that are using your cellular data. So go to your cellular data settings and you will see a list of apps that are currently using cellular data. Make sure you turn it off for the apps that you don't want to have cellular data running because you have apps running in the background taking up like data from your iPhone that way you, they, they will consume a lot of your data if you have a limited plan that will be very very bad and also will take like bandwidth from other apps. And if you're having problems with your cellular data, always make sure you try to turn on and off the airplane mode because that might help. Apple is always pushing more fixes with iOS updates. So if you're having like cellular problems, reception problems, all that, make sure you always have your device updated to the latest software. So that is it for this video guys, these are my 25 tips and tricks on how to improve your iPhone speed, performance, battery life, storage as well as the network connection. So that is it, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, I'll see you on the next one.